So I'm starting in the front facing double bedroom. It's a square in size, roughly three and a half by three and a half. Everything is wallpapered. Uh, wallpaper is in fairly good condition. Uh, and you've got polystyrene tiles on the ceiling. There is no radiator in this bedroom. Yeah, there's literally no heating. And there is damp underneath the window. Chimney breast is okay. Slightly elevated readings, but um, but not too bad. Okay, yeah. So might be a slight leak on that chimney breast. You've got one, two power points in the room and good quality uh, UPVC windows. Uh, bedroom number two, the rear facing one. This one does have a radiator. Um, it's about the same size as the other one. Chimney breast, I already looked at it, that's not wet. However, this um, rear facing wall, that's completely, completely wet. Like it's really, really damp. You can, you can just see it with the naked eye. Don't need a moisture meter. Window is good, but um, yeah, really, really wet, really damp. Uh, you can see the guttering is overflowing as well. And you've got quite a lot of moss on the roof, although the tiles themselves are not in a bad condition. You have a toilet bathroom, which is off this bedroom. It's good size, wallpapered. There's a lot of damp in the corner there. So probably uh, roof joists would need replacing. Yeah, the whole bathroom is, um, well, it needs refurbishing. It's all wallpapered. It smells very damp in here as well. Boiler probably about uh, 10 to 15 years old, potentially salvageable. Good place for it though. And there is one radiator here. Oh yeah, in terms of power points in this room, there's one and two there. Floors appear fairly straight and quite solid underfoot. Staircase, about 90 centimeters wide. Feels quite solid underfoot. Corridor, everything is wallpapered. Ceiling is plastered with original features. Um, the front facing room does have a radiator, which is good. Also got um, an old um, gas fire, which would need to go. There is quite a lot of damp around this window here as well. Same as upstairs. It's actually a bit better than upstairs. It's probably because the guttering is all flowing in the front. That's the reason why. And I expect this, yeah, this chimney breast is really, really wet. Yeah, that's all wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's all very wet. Okay. And you've got suspended timber flooring here as well. Slightly uneven, um, but not terrible. And yeah, all the walls are wallpapered. Wallpaper is in a good condition. Well, I say it's in a good condition. Actually, that corner there. Yeah, that corner where it's wet, the wallpaper has to come off. So yeah, I don't think that's salvageable. The wallpaper would need to come off, replast and repaint. So do you mind if I just make like a little video? Yeah, no problem. Ah. You've got the basement downstairs as well. Is there? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so this is the um, rear facing lounge. Uh, same story as elsewhere, everything is wallpapered and you've got polystyrene tiles on the ceiling. The same uh, suspended timber flooring, again not perfectly even, but not terrible out of whack. Uh, this wall is the same as upstairs, really really wet, yeah extensive damp there, that's, yeah the whole thing is, you can, you can actually see plaster is coming off there as well. Yeah that is, that is really really bad. Um, chimney breast, however, this one is fine, so that's good news. You've got an um, old gas fire there, again, that would need to go. And you've got radiator, which is positioned on the wrong side of the room. I've just been told 
There is a basement here as well. Let's go and have a look there. Okay, yeah, so in terms of head height, it's about um, 1 meter 80, so most people would be able to stand up here straight. This is where you've got your um, gas meter as well. Yeah, so this would be um, handy as a place for storage, just for keeping things. Uh, and yeah, you've got um, power here as well, which is nice for the light. And this is where your electricity is. Wow, that is in awful condition. So yeah, that would need that would need to be replaced. Definitely a new consumer unit, but it's good that it's uh, not in the actual house, that it's in the basement, that's, that's quite convenient. Uh, kitchen, fairly small, about two and a half meters long by about one and a half meters wide. So yeah, galley kitchen, that's the only way this could be. Um, <laughs> Ceiling has fallen through there. I'm not entirely sure why. We'll have a look from the outside, but I suspect some really bad leak, damp. Oh yeah, there is a bathroom upstairs. Yes, yeah, so uh, probably some bad leak from the bathroom just caused it. So yeah, this would need complete refurbishment. So the only thing that's good is the window, which is double glazed UPVC, and the back door, which is a um, fairly decent competent door. It's a little bit old fashioned, but um, should be able to keep it. And then outside you have this outdoor kitchen storage kind of area, which you probably need to go. And then further down you have this uh, toilet as well, just an outside toilet, which, I mean, if you could connect that to the house, that would be amazing, but whether you could, I really don't think it's possible. What you could do is potentially you could maybe convert that into a toilet and have your entrance off the kitchen. Yeah, so this is the wall that's completely wet and you've got that old flown guttering, uh, roof is covered in moss and this is the chimney stack that's quite um, dry I think. The, the bad one is on the, on the other side. Yeah, I think there is some potential maybe to have a toilet here. Yeah, I think I think that's possible. I mean, it's quite a lot of work, but I think it can be done. And then you'd have a toilet downstairs as well, which would be nice. Okay, so that's that. 